from that injection okay. to a different one that's also potentially transforming lives. For more than 10 years, Jennifer suffered through a lot of shoulder pain. She was desperately trying to avoid surgery. I've been really active, always very physical, like to work out a lot. 10 years ago, I was working out, and I ended up injuring both my shoulders really badly. I just felt excruciating pain in both of my arms and radiating down my shoulders. So I went to the doctor. He told me I had actually torn both my arms. The doctor suggested surgery, but I chose not to have it because he told me I would need to take months off from work. I got back into exercising. And one day when I was in a yoga class, I reached up and felt my arm completely tear back out again. Now, for the past year, the simplest tasks have been pretty much impossible. If I make the slightest wrong move, it's going to be excruciating. Because it hurts to fully extend my arms, I end up walking around like this. I basically look like a T-Rex. Can't even get a lot of the clothes out of my closet. When I have to drive, my arms get really sore, and after a while, I can't even really drive. I'm going to go see Dr. Raj and have surgery, and I'm actually really nervous but excited because hopefully after this, I'll be able to get my normal active lifestyle back. We are doing a bilateral stem cell injection. What she has is labral tears. Labral tears are where the shoulder goes into the socket and where the cartilage is torn, so your shoulder becomes unstable. The pelvis is the main uh, area where we have our bank of stem cells in our bone marrow. This is what goes into the crest. Just a slight stab into the bone, hammer. What's coming out now is the bone marrow. This is a centrifuge machine that's going to spin. At that point, we'll isolate the stem cells from the bone marrow and the red blood cells, and we'll have pure stem cells. Now, he's separating the platelet poor plasma from the stem cells. Aspirating, shaking the stem cells. Stem cells, feel the bone. I am taking these concentrated stem cells, putting it right into the shoulder area, and these stem cells will regenerate, reduce inflammation, and repair. So the hope is we'll get a physiologic repair of Jennifer's labral tears. A little numbing, so I'm just going to stretch your shoulder. Done. It's number one. Shoulder number two, go directly into the shoulder joint. Stem cells, and we are done. Jennifer joins us with her doctor, board-certified orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Raj. And Jennifer, I know it's only been four days, so any improvement? Are you still... Yeah, this is crazy. I can't believe that I feel, first of all, I feel good after surgery. I've had surgeries before and I wouldn't be sitting here, so that's surprising to me. But what's really shocking is that I haven't, so my arms, I haven't been able to move them or range of motion. I can put my hands above my head. I've been awesome. done that. <laughs> I haven't done that in 10 years. It has been 10 years since I've been able to put my hands above my head or even put them out at their sides. And yesterday, when I went to go get a checkup and did it the first time, I cried. Is that, is that a little quick for a response, Dr. Ross? Strong anti-inflammatories. I mean, stem cells are so magical in a sense. Number one, they go in strong anti-inflammatory, and then they start regenerating and repairing. All those healing and growth factors. Exactly. I've seen different reactions. I've seen numbness within an area. I've seen pain, too. I've seen, uh, and I've seen this frequently, so it, it is expected. One of the things I, I'll say on the one hand, one of the things I'm a fan of is if you can avoid, avoid a true surgery, and this is more of a procedure. Yeah, it's a surgery, but yeah. it's much less invasive, and if it works, great. So you're someone who uses them a lot of times in place of traditional surgery? Right. And, you know, in Jennifer's case, she had a labral tear. So the labrum attaches uh, the capsule and contains the joint. So she has instability. Now, if you had a tear where you had one end here and the second end here, you need me to fix this. But if you have an undisplaced labral tear like Jennifer had, that just, that's just not healing? Stem cells. It's all about it's the beauty of more options, and I think this just adds another option to the arsenal. Dr. Raj, thank you, Jennifer. Happy to be feeling better. More on the other side of the day.